let's talk to Kola Karim, who is the managing director of Shoreline, to get his thoughts on all of this development in the oil and gas sector. Kola, a good morning to you. Good morning. It's great to have you join us on the show. So quite a lot uh, coming in for the industry players, that's for the oil and gas industry players. What are your thoughts? Well, the good thing is, looking at where the budget stand is $7.3 trillion, and the benchmark for crude for next year at $42.5 per barrel. But the key thing for me that popped out is the projection of 2.2 million barrels per day. So you can see from where the budget estimates are, if we do not meet this target of 2.2 million, there could be a problem. So the most important thing for Medevo, for the oil and gas companies, is one government being able to push in that sustaining that security position in helping that targeted production. But then, you see, the federal government and the president actually, you know, mentioned it, was that uh, there will be terminating existing joint venture cash calls agreements with uh, international oil companies. And, uh, of course, that will mean more for domestic companies, including those in the upstream. Well, look, the, the reality is this. The proposal with the international, uh, um, in the joint venture area, is important and a landmark positioning of what's happening today. Because the biggest inhibition in the growth in the sector, especially with the IOCs, has always been the counterpart from the federal government. But with this agreement today for this counterpart funding to go away and it's in turn funded by the partners in a structure that's been put together and agreed by the government and the IOCs, it will free the federal government from raising additional funding to fund any cash calls, which in turn will leave cash available to supporting the budget and finance in the economy. Hmm. Kala Karim, CEO of Shoreline Energy, thank you so much for joining me on the program and, of course, sharing your perspectives with us on this particular issue.